Hello everybody. So today um, I'll be expanding on uh, the first um, vision and transduction video that I uploaded. Today will be more on the molecular level. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps from light hitting on number one till the firing of the ganglion cells number 10. Um, so as we mentioned before, light hits the molecule retinal, which is embedded in the GPCR protein that is called rhodopsin. And what's, what's going to happen is photoisomerization uh, of retinal from the cis conformation, 11 cis, to um, trans conformation. And what's going to happen after that is an activation of the GPCR protein, rhodopsin, is going to become active, as number three shown here. And then um, how it's going to activate as any GPCR, uh, a dissociation between um, the J alpha subunit and the beta and gamma subunit. This activation will lead to um, an activation in uh, PDE or the uh, phosphodiesterase, which actually degrades um, degrades um, the cyclic GNP to five prime GNP, and also it's gonna decrease uh, guanyl cyclase, which actually produce cyclic GNP. So we can see the same effect here. Uh, either by decreasing guanyl cyclase, which produce cyclic GMP, or by activating phosphodiesterase, which degrades uh, cyclic GMP. Why is this re relevant? Because, at, as you can see at number six, um, cyclic GMP is necessary uh, for this channel that uh, allows sodium and calcium to enter the photoreceptor cell. With uh, de By degrading cyclic GMP here, we are um, we are actually stopping the cell from um, allowing sodium and calcium to enter. So as you can see here, there's a red X that means sodium and calcium cannot enter, which leads to hyperpolarization of the photoreceptor. Hyperpolarization here, number seven, we can see hyperpolarization, which means less glutamate is released because remember, glutamate is an activating. Uh, a, a neurotransmitter. So if you have hyperpolarization, that means you have less glutamate released here at number eight. After that, remember that bipolar cell is uh, comes after the photoreceptors. We have two bipolar cell. One is called on, and one is called off cell, off bipolar cell. So the on bipolar cell has metabotropic glutamate receptor, which is denoted here by mGluR, and the off one has the um, AMPA receptor which also has to do with um, glutamate neurotransmitter. And GLUR, the metotropic one, is actually inverse the signal versus the AMPA, which is ionotropic, uh, preserve the signal. As you can see here, the, the red, that means inverse, and uh, the plus means um, keep the signal the way it is. So let's glutamate, that mean we're going to reverse that signal that's going to become depolarization of the bipolar cell, and then after that, we're gonna have um, depolarization at the ganglion cell, and we have high fi firing rate at the on ganglion cells. And remember, only active action potential happen at the ganglion cell, and we have high firing. Now, w w uh, some people say, okay, so I don't really understand what's the point of the horizontal cell, which is denoted here by this cell. Um, what I would like to, to, to talk about is th this this um, horizontal cell provide lateral inhibition, which means that it actually produ uh, it, it, it releases GABA, as I'm, I'm showing here. This GABA actually is an inhibitory transmitter, which leads to more hyperpolarization, and when it's inverted, it becomes higher depolarization, which, ma which makes it more emphasizing the image, which makes it high firing rate in the on ganglion cell. As you can see here, lateral inhibition causes better contrast or uh, better center um, lighting. Um, one thing I would like to also talk about is what if I want to go from light to dark? So as you can see, cyclic GMP plays a big role. If I want to be, make it dark, that mean I mean I need sodium and calcium to get inside of the cell. And how do they get inside? by the binding of cyclic GMP. So how am I going to do that? I need to increase the level of cyclic GMP either by 
um, as you can see, I need to increase the cyclic GMP. That's, that's going to be either by arresting rhodopsin, which means stopping rhodopsin activation. Um, uh, also, um, I would like to talk about the role of calcium. It's a very important role in this process. What calcium does, as you can see this block here that I left till the end, this block talks about the role of calcium. So, um, modulation, adaptation, or retur returning to dark state means high activity of guanine cyclase. Why is that? Because we need more cyclic GMP to close the channel, to, to, to be able to allow sodium and calcium inside. And again, low calcium concentration, this inhibits guanine cyclase. That means we have more cyclic GMP, which means we have activation. Also, it, uh, low levels of calcium also disinhibits um, then this inhibits it and make high uh, GRK activity also a high affinity for cyclic GMP that means that the less the calcium concentration the higher the affinity for cyclic GMP I hope that was helpful